this video we're going to be unboxing a couple things for the 13.9 pin and welded do everything rifle and again this is an overall of 16.2 inches for the barrel length so it is a rifle not a pistol and you can remove the magazine granted the stock pinned barrel uh muzzle brake pin can't do anything with that but um yeah so just a super quick uh overview so we have a what's it called a hera cqr foregrip i don't know why i started from the bottom that's super dumb some generic muzzle brake magpul m bus 3 flip up iron sights uh sight mark optic the cheap amazon special the magpul k2 plus uh pistol grip that has like a more vertical angle so yeah um and part of the reason that we're doing this video is because of this grip so we're going to be testing something with it and just to do another test empty safe direction so yeah um this is a fab defense stock that's pinned of course as i just said uh m4e1 aero precision lower and uh, i believe that's everything because it's is pretty much oh yeah the upper what am i saying this is the midway usa ar stoner upper if i didn't say that I'm, I'm tripping i've been at work for 15 hours or something and my stuff came in so yeah so we'll be putting this down right beside us and we'll be opening these two things so right here we'll start with this one which is the main part of this video this is something you guys are probably quite familiar with talon grips so we will open this <coughs> um this is five seven material five seven material generally texture We're gonna test this out. This is like a very aggressive grip texture. So, boom. That's with the pop, like with the underside of my finger. That's this. And what we're gonna be doing with this is seeing if the adhesive will stick it to this um, pistol grip. We may not be doing it right now because I may just test the pistol grip first like without it yeah so that's what i'm gonna do so we're gonna test the pistol grip without it but we will probably have a video of me drawing up like the shape of this and putting it like just templating it and having it ready and with the leftover material we'll probably lay some strips like up here because this is where i grip and it's it does you do have good grip with this um thing but you can always have more grip so that's what we'll be doing and sorry for flagging you guys but again we tested it and you saw that it is empty plus that's a camera you're not actually there but um yeah this is this is 10 bucks so even if i do end up messing up the grip which i don't care um that will just go to show that i like my other women better anyway and i'll be spending 25 dollars between this grip tape and that grip so let's get into the next thing this product is from, or these products are from TACX. I saw an ad on Instagram, and I was like, that's actually pretty interesting. Um, let me try that out. This was also, I believe, like $25 shipped for this, which is a great price because I just went to the range, and I spent more than half that only on a few. So what these are are splatter targets. 
So we have, does it have like a sticker on them? So it says 10 easy shooting targets. So boom, these are the splattering ones. So this is 10 of them. And this was a dollar. Um, so we'll throw that down. And then this the bread and butter is the other one, which is a pack of 25 and it's 12 by something. The sticker doesn't show everything, but I believe it's 12 by 18. So that's a decent sized target. As you can see, it's a decent sized target, 12 by 18, which is uh, again, a decent target. So what we're gonna be doing is practicing with these. And I believe it was $20 for everything or 25 bucks or something like that for 35 targets. And granted, these ones are small, but again, small targets just means you're going to be more accurate. So, all of this, 35 targets for $25. I paid $10 for five paper targets. So, if these are splatter ones and they're actually good, then, I mean, the hell, it's a come up. And we'll probably order more. But they do seem like they're good quality. They're like cardboard and not just paper. So they won't just like crumple. So that's another good thing. Because the one, the targets like this that they sell like at the range are like $5 or something. So 4 or $5, something like that. So again, a steal. Let's say they're $4. This is $25. That's $100 worth of target. Then let's say these are two dollars each, just a twenty. So one hundred and twenty dollars worth of targets for twenty or twenty-five bucks. We'll never complain about that. So we do plan to go to the range this weekend, as long as we don't have any crazy weather. So that will be where we test these, as well as where we test this talent grip tape. I am looking forward to using this stuff because I always see videos on it and everything and it was 10 bucks. So I'm like, you know what? Let's make some content out of it. So it's exactly what we're going to do um, for this channel. As you guys can see, I'm going to be putting out as much content as I can. Um, I'll also be doing content next weekend because that is when my qualifications are. Um, I'm going to see if it's possible for me to get a GoPro or for me to at least borrow a GoPro to use so I can record me doing the quals and then I'll throw a video up of that um and that will most likely be like a one take kind of thing like I'll just let it run bang out our qualifications and then that'll be another video <coughs> and then we'll most likely be staying at the range after that because I don't think I'll be having work that Sunday so we'll probably stay at the range and get more practice with this and um yeah, maybe we'll make some money this weekend buying and selling some stuff and we'll be able to pick up the next gun that I am trying to buy. Um, but I'm not 100% sure because I do want to fix the uh, LS Swap D36 for those who are coming from my other channel. But um, yeah, let's... Uh, oh, I'll show you guys my EDC. I was actually thinking I should have brought my work gun home. I didn't. So, yeah. Again, I came from work, so it's empty. Safe direction. This is a Canic TP9 SFX Mete with a um, Freedom Arms or something like that. Uh, Zombie Pro Trigger, and then a 45 Blast Compensator, and a Romeo Zero Optic. This is the pistol that I am the most accurate with. Like, I can just dump shots and it will be in like, like if I dump 10 shots, it'll be in the size of a fist at like <clears throat> anywhere between 15 and 20 yards. So that's good grouping, especially for something like this. So this is actually quite a large slide. This is probably like five and a half close to six inches so this is like those like competition 1911 and 2011s that people have with like all the commentators and again this is well not again but this is made to be like the uh 
John Wick gun. So, yeah, and also, like, the mechanics are like Walther PDPs or whatever. But, yeah, this thing is super cool. I really do like it. And, yeah, it's just super nice. Like, that mechanic trigger is always just, look at, that's all the take up. Boom. And then the reset. <laughs> this thing is insane. But yeah, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. In the